Chaos Fight Card coming this Saturday. Got quite a few requests for uh, predictions and commentary. And that's what I'm here for sometimes. You like it or not, you know you love it. A lot of people got this uh, bickering back and forth about Dana White and Tom Atencio. You know, everyone thinks Dana White a badass. He got a few sparring sessions under his belt. And, you know, he makes the most of it. But that Tom Atencio of Affliction is a real MMA fighter. I won't rub it in too much because I didn't know that till last week. And he's fighting on this card. To me, Tom has the most integrity when it comes to representing a fight organization. You know that Pride FC had that Nabuhiko Takata. He was a pretty decent fighter. You know, the UFC got Dana White, who um, has been hit in the head a couple times with headgear. Affliction got Tom Atencio, who going into this card want to know. A little news for you guys who is uh, UFC nut huggers. Your representative is... Uh, far less a badass than you think. Tom Atencio versus Randy Hederick. They both want to know. Tom Atencio got the mojo going in and he got a lot to prove. He got the discipline to turn an organization into a, a ten dollar a year company to a multi-million dollar a year company. He got enough discipline to uh, put it in the fight game and put it in his training. I see him winning this fight. Very naked choke maybe. Hopefully a knockout. That'd be cool to see him get a knockout. Chris Hordecki. Versus William Striapa. These international guys really fucking tongue twist me, man. Chris Hordecki is getting better by the day. These young dudes, they train. Every day they get better. As long as they stay injury free. I see Chris Hordecki by TKO. Second round. They call Josh Barnett the babyface assassin. I think they need to give that to Chris Hordecki. Well, wait a second. He nicknamed the Polish Hammer. That's a lot better nickname than the babyface assassin. I digress. Dean Thomas versus Javier Vasquez. For his division, Dean Thomas, he dangerous. He could win any fight at any time. I've never seen a fight where Dean Thomas has been totally dominated in his weight class. And I see him taking this fight. I don't see Javier Vasquez bringing any more threat than anyone else has brought to him already. Submission. This next fight is going to be the fireworks. The winner of this fight is going to fight Paul Buntello at Affliction Trilogy because that Tim Sevilla got pulled out because he got knocked out by Ray Mercer. They agreed to not do that. Uh -huh. Gilbert Ivel or Pedro Hizzo, one of them fighting Paul Buontello. Gilbert Ivel is really riding some momentum in his career. His training going good. He had a bump in the road with that Josh Barnett. But everybody knows Josh Barnett did not want to stand up with him. And it took three rounds to finish Ivel. And that Pedro Hizzo He's taken a lot of punches in his time, and he's far from his prime. I look at both their records. Gilbert shows that his training is paying off and that he really progressing in his career. And Pedro Hizzo looked like he's tailing off. And if you ask me, I would have to say Gilbert Ivel, the most dangerous striker of the two. Because not only does Gilbert bring his hands, but he brings his feet, his knees, and everything else. I'm going with Gilbert Ivel by knockout in this fight. Battle of the Giants, main event. Bobby Lashley versus Bob Sapp. I think that Bobby Lashley would get more crap talked about him. Kimbo had so much shit talk about coming from the streets, but I really don't hear too much coming from the Lashley representatives. I guess you have to come from WWE to MMA to have a smooth transition. You can't come from street fights to MMA, and that don't make sense to me because every MMA fighter, their first fight was in a street fight, not in a WWF ring. I, I can't tell you of the reasoning of these fans. One plus one equals three with them. Bobby Lashley, from his last fight, he looked really fast, he looked really quick, and he looked really strong. But it was too quick a fight to see how much he's progressed. So I looked at his other fights. He got a fight with Clay Gita's brother. And Clay Gita's brother is only 5'10", about 220, 230, and he took that man to a decision. So, you know, I'm judging by his history. Lashley got the flash, but Dewey got the dash. I don't know. I don't know. And um, to me, Bob Sapp looks more like a more of an integral MMA fighter. He got experience in K1 and mixed martial arts. I think he'll match up well. I don't think Bobby Lashley has trained with or fought anyone of Bob Sapp's stature or strength. Bob Sapp by TKO. That Lashley's new 
if he gonna prove it, he gonna prove it, but definitely can't go with him this fight.